I'm curious, you know, in 2009 when the first Zombieland came out, I feel like there weren't any other movies like that yet who had really yeah. tapped into the genre in a self-reflexive uh, sort of mocking way, making fun of itself as mm -hmm. well as having to, making the movie entertaining on its own while doing it. And now yeah. we've had Deadpool, we've had a mm -hmm. number of versions of that. What is it like for you to sort of come back to this after it seems like, I mean, even though Deadpool is the same writer. It's the same writers. So I think the thing that you're referring to might, in fact, just be the style that they write in, right. uh, which is like what I would describe at its best as like a mixture of really highbrow humor. Um, and by highbrow, I don't just mean sophisticated references to Milton. I mean like, which- Which we, are always funny. Sure. Yeah. There actually is this like a Steinbeck reference in this. And I asked Ruben Fleischer, the director, like, you're gonna cut that out, right? And he was like, no, 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 this gets a laugh. I said, from who? He said, one person. One Wait, person. what is the Steinbeck reference? I say I'm... something like, um, I'm, I'm, I, I have to go shoot something. I say, oh, time to teach Lenny about the rabbits. Oh, yes, yes, like yes, sorry. My cement. Um, but like, but what I, what I, I would say like at its best, the style of this movie is like very kind of lowbrow base humor that is ironic sometimes and also highbrow humor that doesn't worry about losing people on certain jokes. And it's this strange mix that doesn't kind of like apologize for itself. It doesn't like make, it doesn't pander to kind of, um, let's say the widest, uh, you know, that every joke should hit everybody. Um, that makes it, I think, so special. And then the other thing is these guys, Rhett and Paul, who wrote this and they wrote Deadpool, are just so creative with like the action scenes, you know, stuff that never occurs to people like me who like to think of jokes, you know, like that there'll be a bus going this way and an alien with legs going this way. And they just think of stuff that's so creative and so innovative and is at once funny and and, you know, I guess suspenseful.